so I'm here with a new board setup. So this time, this is my very first board setup I've done in a while. And it's also my first board i ever gonna skate, which is the Supreme Board, as you could probably tell by the title. So yeah, this is my very first Supreme Board I've ever gonna have skated. Doc X, when I checked the price of this board, it was about $110 for a bid and most people buy for 150 and I think the retail so when the first board was first sold from Supreme was like $88 but now it's reselling for 150 but I originally did not buy this board I found this board what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna skate it I'm not gonna resell it because when I saw the prices I already gripped with the board and they want it fresh and on top of that the paint is kind of peeling off if you can probably tell with like a little bit of stretch marks so I'm just gonna set this board up and I'm just gonna do a couple of flat ground tricks and tell you guys how this board feels as a Supreme board. I know a lot of people are hyped on the Supreme boards, but I personally don't care. A board is a board and you're supposed to skate it. So let's just get started. Yesterday, I learned a new trick, which was uh, shove it sex change. And I really love that trick now because it's so easy to do for me. And also, it's just one of those tricks that nobody does in a game of skate. So that's probably going to be the first trick I ever do in a game of skate now. So it's going to be like front shove or a shove sex change and then tray flip or something along those lines. Because I'll show you guys when I'm doing the flat ground trick, but that has become one of the favorite tricks I've liked now. But I'm just going to speed through this. I'm just going to cut to the end of me setting up this board because there's no point. I will tell you my setup. So right now what I'm skating is uh, the Supreme board, size 8, size 8 trucks, 50s or 48 millimeter wheels, Rick does Kevin Hoffler wheels, Bronson Ross, and bushing stock, and then for the grip tape for the Supreme board I put on, I put on Tactics, which is basically just up, just uh, with their logo on it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. There isn't much to this board setup. But yeah, I'm gonna put a screenshot. I put a, I think I already did, but I'm going to put a screenshot of the Supreme board prices from StockX, of the one that I have. Personally, I don't like skating white boards. It kind of stands out too much, and on top of that, they get really dirty very fast, so I usually don't skate white boards. I just skate whatever. And I do have a whole bunch of boards stacked at home from the raffle, from the experience. So I got three boards, and I got two other boards that I've been holding on to for a while. But they're like 8.5s, and I've never skated 8.5s before. I skated 8.25s, but never 8.5s, because that board is way too big, and it's too heavy for me. Love Rush Tool. So fast. So what I'm gonna do, I know this is my back truck, so I'm gonna just leave it like that. Everything's ready to take off. I'm just going to put my front truck on first. So that way I know which was the front and which was the back. So that way I don't mess up my turns or whatever. That. But today is actually beautiful. It's 60 degrees out, and if I go in the sun, I'm gonna be sweating. So that's why I have a hoodie on in the shade. So once I set this board up, we'll see. And this is the perfect weather to be filming because when it gets too hot, the camera usually overheats and shuts down. But with this, I could just uh, do whatever. Like, I could put my camera anywhere in the sun or whatever and it still works perfect. So, perfect filming season. I kind of want to know what kind of concave this board has. It looks very flat to me. 
So I'm going to guess this feels like a Plan B board because um, I want to keep the Plan B boards I had. They were really flat boards. And I really like, for me, flat boards work. But I do also like boards with concave because I like the feel of them. So it's kind of like a mixed feelings about both. Like, I'd rather have more concave, but some people prefer flat. I prefer either one. Like, if I'm skating a flat board, right? It feels so much better to be skating, or my tricks work so much better with a flat board and a concave board. Because the concave board, I like. If it has more concave, it's gonna flip more and I have less board control. But, with a flat board, you have more control, and you know, you know how to keep your feet flat or angled or whatever and it just sticks under your feet but that's just my preference i don't know like the science behind it i know professor schmidt has his own like technology behind it me i personally I don't care like i don't want my board too flat that, that i can't flick it right i don't want like Basically, when I skate Plan B boards, Plan B boards always work for me. And I've heard the same thing from a lot of people. And those, most of the Plan B boards are made by Professor Schmidt with his technology and all this stuff. I could literally speed through this, but I really don't want to. So, like, I could, like, speed up the setup. I'm just going to ramble about stuff. You know what's funny? I actually started liking really mop grip tape. Like, it's very good. At the beginning, it's pretty hard to do kick flips and flip tricks just because um, it's hard to... Like, your board is too grip, so it sticks to your feet. Also, I have a new um, video coming out, or it came out, I don't know. I have to see what my schedule is going to be like. But, basically... I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to like, what is your common mistake with flip tricks and why you can't land them. And it's very simple, you just gotta lift your knee up and a lot, of, or the best way to say is like, you gotta suck your knees up to your chest and that way you could get used to them. And the best way to do that is just keep doing ollies, like ollie, 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 ollie all day long until you're able to like get into a certain point. So if you put a, Let's say uh, you put uh, two boards. You have to suck your feet up to hop over those two boards or ollie over those two boards. You know what I find crazy? I've been skating for almost nine years. July 2012 is when I started. And, dude, I can't believe I did certain tricks. Like, I was at 88. Uh, like yesterday when I was learning shove section, I actually did start shove section just by accident. I did um, what's it called? I was playing a scooter kid in skate, and it wasn't like skateboard versus skateboard, it was skateboard versus scooter. And so a tail whip would be a shove it, a front heel tail whip would be like a front shove, and then uh, it was like a weird game. And what he did was uh, like a tail whip and then sex change so that would be a shove and sex change that's how I learned it I just did it first try and I kept doing it and I just got used to it and it felt so fun like to like do it and then I was just playing games of skate with that trick and every time it, <laughs> it would catch everyone off guard but yeah if you want to if you want to get good at um, jumping you just got to set up your border get to a ledge and start hopping onto it that's probably the best way to do it because if you force yourself to jump up then you have to like jump up that high because what your brain is telling you is you have to jump up that high What I was saying was like when I went to 88 and I saw the I saw the tall ledge there, like I couldn't believe that I back 50 it. Like if I were to try that shit now, I would have probably died. <laughs> like I don't know how I got up there. That shit 
is so tall. Like, it's knee high and I terrible back 50s right now. And I don't know how I back 50. I actually 50 the rail first and then back 50 the ledge. And I'm like, I'm like, I don't know how I did that. That's crazy to me. Like, I need to start working on my muscles. Like, my leg muscles to start getting up that high and start working on my ollies a little more. Last bolt. Ah, oh, crap. Too far. Ugh. All right, just a little more. Perfect. So, I'll show you guys my board setup. So, as you guys can see, I got CCS sticker, StockX, Continental, because I just got twos from them for my uh, track um, bike. Uh, this is the City Supply, the Nine Club from their raffle, NorCal, Escape for Life, Mop Grip, Bronson Grip, and um, yeah, I mean, that's my board set up. I think I was supposed to say something else, I forgot what. Oh, I also messed up on the grip tape too. <laughs> so on the front, you can see that there's like a little gap here. And that gap is gonna really bother me. But and I hate the fact that it's on the nose. But after a while it's gonna get sanded down. So let me show you guys um the shove section I learned recently. I should be able to learn it, learn it, or I should be able to land it first try. <laughs> So looking at this board, I actually think it's an 825, not an 8, because it's much more wider and it is pretty flat. So we'll see how the rest of the flat ground goes. Literally, this board is leaving white marks all over the floor. <laughs> So after skating the Supreme board for a little bit on a flat, it's okay. Like the concave is mellow, but it's still a board. You can skate it however you want. And uh, yeah, I mean, I just landed a couple of tricks. The Nolly backside flip it took me a while and I didn't land it. It was sketchy when I landed it the first time, but it's tired, freaking sunny, warm, good vibes. Feels like summer already, and I can't wait. So after a good sesh, I finally was able to do the switch ollie up the bottom ledge, which I've done before by putting my hand on the ground, but you weren't able to see it. It was an Instagram clip, but I was able to come back and just do it. And it didn't take me that long, actually. It only took me like 15 minutes to do. And I'm really happy with this board now just because I landed that switch ollie. But good sesh, good day. I mean, I'm not done skating, but I'm just happy with the Supreme board. So I'll give this uh, like eight, I'll give it like an 8.8 .8 out of 10, just because of how the board feels. And the fact that it's 825 and not an eight, if it was an eight and I had the same feeling, then it would be different. But because it's 825, I'm not used to it. So I have to give it an 8.8. .8. And uh, yeah, I just really love the feel of the board. It feels so good. And it's like, I can't believe I actually did the switch ollie. It's been, it's been a while since I did it. It was, I think, two years ago where I actually switched ollie it. But 
I'm happy that uh, I got it and that's it. And I hope you guys get yours, but it's $150. So, yeah, I don't know. Or if you want to get yourself another board, you can get another board. As long as you're skating, that's all that matters. But that's it. Uh, I'll see you guys for the next video.